EKU football taking the field at Roy Kidd Stadium last night for their season opener against Moorhead State. This was the 73rd meeting between these two teams, with Eastern Kentucky leading the series 52-16 with four ties. The Colonel's second possession of the game, and Daryl McCleskey takes the handoff and sees a hole. The junior spins out of one tackle, runs through another before crossing midfield. He's finally brought down at the Moorhead State 25-yard line for a 51-yard gain. The drive would stall there, and EKU would settle for a Sam Hayworth 38-yard field goal to take an early 3-0 lead. Still in the first, Eagles looking to convert a third and four when the pass goes through the hands of Weish and into the hands of Josh Hayes for his first interception as a colonel. And it didn't take long for the offense to capitalize. Alonzo Booth in at running back. Hand off to Alonzo. He breaks tackles inside the 10. Still going like a bowling ball. Still going. Breaks a tackle. He made it to the end zone. He refused to go down. Next Eastern possession, and McCleskey finds a seam in the middle and totes the rock for a 16-yard pickup. McCleskey again, and this time the Ohio native, chews up 18 yards before being brought down inside the MSU 40. EKU not done putting their stable of running backs on display. LJ Scott turns the corner and gets vertical and picks up 16 yards, putting the team inside the red zone. Another second and eight, Jalen Carter in motion, takes a handoff on the end around, finds a seam and heads for the pylon before being forced out inside the five. Eastern Kentucky knocking at the door. It's goal to go with five seconds to go in the first quarter handoff. LJ Scott, touchdown, Colonels, touchdown, Scott. Colonels up 18-0 after one. Moorhead State would have good field position midway through the second. And this 35-yard strike put them at the eastern two-yard line where they would manage to cross the goal line and make it an 18-7 game going into halftime. First colonel possession of the second half and a steady diet of Daryl McCleskey and L.J. Scott got EKU across midfield. Third and nine, Eastern Kentucky looking to move the sticks. Dakota Allen hits Jackson Bierman on the sideline. He spins away from one tackler before being pushed out of bounds for an 18-yard completion. And Allen wasn't finished. And late in the first half, they lead 18-7 on a long, sustained drive led by Allen. Dakota over the middle to Dan Paul. Touchdown, Dan Paul. Touchdown, Colonels. The first college touchdown thrown by Dakota Allen. That capped a 14-play, 77-yard drive, and EKU was looking for more. After the defense forced a three and out, Eastern got the ball on the plus side of the field and went into their bag of tricks. Alfonso Howard with a little throwback pass to Allen and the redshirt freshman scampers for 28 yards to put the Colonels in the red zone. A pair of Alonzo Booth's six-yard runs had EKU on the lip of the cup. Scott gets the snap, looking to throw to the end zone. Touchdown, Paul! It's two for two for touchdowns for Dan Paul in quarter three. 31-7 Eastern Kentucky. That would be all they needed, but the Colonels would add 17 more points in the fourth as they went on to win 49-23. As a team, EKU chewed up 424 yards on the ground, led by Daryl McCleskey, who finished with a team-high 127 yards. Eastern's back in action next Saturday when they hit the road and head to West Virginia to take on the Marshall Thundering Herd. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.